I think our fan base can relate to the anxiousness and the oh nerves that we all feel as sports <laughs> fans right now. Almost Let's feels like here. even when you don't have a horse in the race, Yo, that your yeah. team is fighting for the Super Bowl. Yeah. The Tension, palpable. Ooh. Big spot for O'Malley here, boys. O'Malley is in green, Piotr Jan in red. There's Piotr Jan going after the legs early. Pro Jan crowd being heard from early as expected. Jan's gonna keep walking him down. But as he walks you down, Piotr Jan's building reads, trying to figure out what he's gonna do, how he's gonna approach the fight. He's got O'Malley circling off to his left. That can lead him into the outside leg kick of Piotr Jan. Looks like Piotr Jan's willing to switch stances as Sean does. I was wondering how Piotr would deal with the height, how he would manage the distance and the space and closing it without putting himself in danger. Ooh. Good movement, though, so yep. far from O'Malley. Yep. Nice. O'Malley. O'Malley is a master of movement. He does a good job of creating just slight angles. Nothing too big. You enter in the range where he doesn't feel comfortable, slight pivot and turn. Nice body kick from Piotr Jan. Both of these fighters will switch stances. Jan felt like in terms of his preparation, he was ready for the unorthodox attacks of Sean O'Malley. Some pokes going on here. Both guys with some outstretched fingers, though, so they both got to be careful. There's a right hand gets through for O'Malley. Front kick appeared to land partially as well. Body kick finds the home for Jan. Jan loads up on the left hand. O'Malley evades. Great right hand by O'Malley again. He's so long and he's so sharp with his strikes. O'Malley doesn't waste anything. And the one thing that is sometimes lost is how fast he is. He's so quick with his hands. Man, that's a piston right through that raised guard of Jan. Now Jan shoots. A lot of fans were expecting we'd see some of this. You wondered if Piorion would use his wrestling. You know he has that ability, and we got the answer very early. Got the takedown. Now he's on his back. O'Malley's got to turn back towards him there. He's got to try to find a way to get that right arm back through to get to an underhook. And he did. Man, nice work. O'Malley's got a lot of grappling heavy camps. Augusto Tanquino Mendez. Starting to open up a little bit here is O'Malley. Throwing some power shots, was looking for that right hook. Jan a little bit more measured with his offense, but has landed 58% of his significant strike attempts. That's always been the Piotr Jan game. He doesn't overextend. O'Malley's doing a good job of throwing feints at him. Notice how he feints oh. to try to slow Jan down. Jan drops down to a double again, gets his hands locked under the butt, puts him down. Beautiful job level changing by Piotr Jan. You see the corner of O'Malley telling him, go off to the left. Jan does a great job of sucking the hips back away from the side of the octagon and gaining full control on top. Big takedown for Piotr Jan here late in round one. We'll see what he can do with it. He's attacking some triangle arm bar attempts there, but nothing, nothing doing there. Jan all over it. And you know Sean O'Malley in camp worked on this anticipating that Jan will try to take him down. Back up to his feet. Great job by Sean O'Malley getting back up to his feet. Now he knows he's got to put some pressure on Jan after giving up that takedown. Money in the bank. Money in the bank with these leg kicks, though, for Piotr Jan. That's Absolutely. smart approach. Jan always has his hands up real high, but O'Malley's being very active. Both 
Body kick from Jan, a shot from O'Malley oh. late in the round. Nice oh. takedown by the Sugar Show. O'Malley with the shot. That was a nice change, level change, and the way he got to the angle was real good. Right here you see Sean O'Malley pop the jab, get to his range and land the beautiful right hand on Peoria Jan. Then right here you see Jan get to the legs, lock under the butt, put him down, and get some top control. What a competitive round one. If he doubles you again on the fence, go towards his head and stuff right away. Don't wait. Wrestle hard. You look great. You look great. He's, you're too fast for him. If he starts crowning you too much, the Machita's there. Hey, you look great, buddy. You're in great shape. This is gassed already. Grab your stuff. Let's go, guys. Out, out. Hey, this? No more of this, OK? Here, here, here. Don't do this. Second round. Fight, you ready? You ready? Fight! Clearly a speed advantage seen by Tim Welch in the corner of Sean O'Malley. Ooh. Jan opens round two with a body kick. And an effective one at that. Oh, oh nice. He stung him. He got him hurt. Sean's got him hurt bad. Crowd going wild. Oh! And now a massive from Jan. Jan. Jan! And now he drags O'Malley down! Oh my goodness! Can't hear a thing at the Eddie Hall oh Arena! Oh my goodness! What a start to round two! Both of these guys with massive moments! Oh. <laughs> Huge right wow. hand by both guys! Jan working inside the now closed guard of O'Malley. And both of these guys now are trying to recover. That's a pretty good ground strike there with the right from Jan. Yeah, that got through big time. You saw Jan land that punch off of the stance switch. He's throwing the jab, switch stances, and bang. Rolled through, crushed him. <laughs> Armbar attempt by O'Malley. Jan still maintains the position, looked like a small window for O'Malley. Now he gets back to his feet, and he is greeted with a knee to the body by Jan. <laughs> foot Nasty stomps. Foot stomps. Yeah, I mean, largely they can be cosmetic. O'Malley's had a lot of foot issues, though. The way he's stomping, it's not gonna feel nice. Yeah. Another takedown attempt by Jan. O'Malley's gotta keep those legs split. He's gotta lift the right underhook if he wants to get Jan off of him. There it is. He got that underhook. <laughs> Tremendous recoverability by both guys, but particularly Piotr Jan Ooh. after a huge land by O'Malley to then get it back, so to speak. Oh, I love that trip. He did this against Aljamain Sterling many times. A little back trip. That was good. Good urgency there, though. Oh, he tried it back. O'Malley went to the same technique. Pretty good one-two there from O'Malley. Now touches the body. That's what O'Malley needs to do. That's what he has to do if he wants to open up Jan to his strikes. He's got to feint at him. He's got to pop the shoulder at Jan as Jan started to enter. Jan really started to go into bully mode now. Two minutes to go in the round. Nice jab yeah. from Piotr. And we've seen this with Piotr Jan, right? As the fights go longer, he does a better job of getting at his opponents. Oh, solid body kick there. Well, O'Malley got a right hand through. O'Malley seemed to deal with that body shot pretty well, all things another considered, one. but there's another one. Numbers exceedingly close with the exception of the takedowns. Jan, three of five. O'Malley, 0 for one. <laughs> nice handiwork there by O'Malley as we come up on a minute to go in round two. Head kick blocked by O'Malley. 
O'Malley's doing a good job here keeping the leg split. Jan's gonna have to go to a single leg here if he wants to try to secure this takedown. Oh, he actually got to the double there. I did not expect him to be able to secure the hips of O'Malley. Great job by Piotr Jan. O'Malley has to have some urgency here. He's got to get yeah. back to his feet. Yeah, Jan's doing a great job, not just standing right in front of him. Keeps the guard high, lands some good combinations, then he's going and mixing in these takedowns consistently. The first round, now in the second round. Both guys have been hurt in this round, but all these takedowns, damage, control time in favor of Jan. Yeah, huge two minutes thereafter for Piotr Jan in the second round. And it's just a great job of ending the round on top. Great round by the former champion. Ten minutes in the books. A lot to look at here in that second round. Let's take a look at this shot by O'Malley. Beautiful, straight left, right on the chin. Wobbles him, but then Jan, being the tough SOB he is, comes right back, lands his own left hand, really puts Sean on wobbly legs, and then this is Piotr Jan's, one of his favorite takedowns, this little outside trip. It's such a nasty takedown, bro. Ha. And then some big body kicks as well throughout this round. There was a few of these, but man, that one landed clean. Sure. Let's go. Get you get the center. Hey, he and, hey, center. When, when he starts coming in, flash your tune, bring me up the middle. He's ducking. You can see it. Let's go. Five minutes with the number one. Hey, you're the number one. Shug. Let's go. Let's, Let's dig deep. Down. You're in this. Let's Touch him up. Back this way. Final round. Third and final round. Piotr Jan and Sean O'Malley. O'Malley would appear to be in outstanding shape coming into the biggest fight of his career. And for those who suggested that he did not deserve an opportunity against the number one contender. He belongs. He absolutely belongs. Powerful right hand for Jan. Oof. Jump switch roundhouse there from Jan. High crotch there by Jan. Nice. And I'm, I don't believe that we've ever seen Sean have to defend as many takedowns. Right. And I believe that's also playing to Piotr's success with the striking because he's making him defend so much. And of course, Jan with a wealth of 25 minute championship experience in the UFC is just getting going here. really is at his best when he's in improvisation mode and really mixing things up well late in this fight. Yeah, we saw based on the jump jump switch kicks and things like that, he's definitely feeling it, flowing, throwing great shots to the body. But so is Sean O'Malley. Yeah, he's he been is. using that front kick very well, but he's got to start using those feints again and things like that, using tricky footwork and waiting for Jan to shell up right there and then find the little openings. That's what he does so well. I think for Sean O'Malley, if he goes jab to the body, then the left hand over the top, he might find Piotr because right now he's throwing so many up top. Piotr's hands are so high. He's got to find a way to break his guard a little bit if he wants to land one of those big shots like he did in round two. Wow. Flexibility help there. Nice knee up the middle there from O'Malley. Left oh, hand, he split him open. Jan has been opened up. That's oh, a yeah. bad there it is. Oh, Ooh, it just for O'Malley. Now O'Malley's got to press. Oh, he's got to be careful dropping the hands against Jan. Oh. Oh, he got stunned. Oh. Now Jan throwing hands and landing. Oh, oh he got slipped. Huge left for Jan. Piotr Jan's counters are nasty. Yeah. Nice jab by O'Malley. Oh, huge head kick. Jan shoots. Jan instinctively shoots right after absorbing the head kick. Two and a half to go. Oh, what I a mean, fight, what man. A fight. These dudes are bold putting on fantastic performances. Yeah, there's no doubt, I think, in any Bantamweight's mind now, seeing Sean O'Malley in here against the former champ, Piotr Jan, that this kid belongs at the top of this division. Yeah. 
anybody's fight with just over two minutes to go. He's got to fight off this double leg. This is a big moment here for Jan if he can secure this takedown. Because both guys have been damaging back and forth. So this stuff matters. These yes, takedowns, this control time will matter because it's pretty even as far as strikes on the feet in this round so o far. O'Malley has got to get back to his feet now. He's got to use his Kimura to try to help him get back up. He cannot allow Fion to finish this round on top. Right. And that's that urgency you want to see from the O'Malley corner. Jan is leaking pints, but still firmly focused on his offense here and excelling in the clinch under 90 seconds to go. Back to the center of the octagon now. And you saw O'Malley get him with something a little bit different. It wasn't him loading up. It was him throwing the high kick, throwing the punch around the guard of Jan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh! again from Jan. Jan is landing some nasty counters. The counters there. have been on point. Oh, my goodness. It's because his hands are always where they're supposed to be. So when you attack, if you aren't in position, he is dropping some big shots on Sean O'Malley who is showing off a nice. hell of a chin tonight. Yeah. 40 seconds to go. Big moment here, guys. 37 seconds left in a very fun round. I mean, if somebody gets dropped with this time left, I think they win the fight. It depends on how you scored round one. Well, and perhaps with that cut from yeah, Kildarion, thankfully, we don't have 10 more minutes. Oh, that's big. That's big for Piotr Jan. Piotr Jan has got some very timely takedowns on Sean O'Malley in this fight. From round one to round three, that may be what saves him. What a fight! Sean O'Malley, Piotr Jan go the distance in front of an appreciative crowd here in Abu Dhabi. And back in Nevada, Sean Shelby certainly cracking a wry smile after putting this fight together, Sean O'Malley certainly ready for prime time against the credentialed number one contender and former champ Piotr Jan. We'll see who leaves Abu Dhabi the number one contender, champ. Right here, you see Sean O'Malley pop the jab. Right here, throws that knee that busts Jan open and hurts him. You see Piotr take a couple bad steps. Now watch this counter here by Piotr Jan. Nasty check left hook. Here comes another one. You can, and then a right hand behind it, right into a takedown by Piotr. What a competitive fight. I mean, that was fantastic. All right, now, with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Vita Paolillo scores it 29-28, Jan. David Lethaby has it 29-28, O'Malley. And Ben Cartlett scores the contest 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Sugar Sean!